live today again if you missed it. A uh, record for the date. Hottest ever in June. Uh, 103 now. That humidity looks low, but remember, the hotter the air is, the more moisture it can hold. So 103 with 31% humidity is a lot more humid than, say, 73 with 31% humidity. And it is muggy out there. <laughs> Mr. Toad? Oh, shit! Big B! Listen, mate, I, I know I don't look human. It's a problem, I'll get it. I just stepped out the apartment for just a second to see what kind of damage this drunk shit is doing. Just cut me a break, yeah? I'll get me glamour first thing in the morning. Cross my arm. I'm looking at a three-foot toad in a sweater. That's a problem. If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. You can't send me up to live with those animals. You know what I mean. Go see a witch. Get a glamour. Big B, they're bleeding me dry, mate. The quality of the spout goes down, but the rates keep climbing up. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? Then get it fixed. It's not complicated, Toad. Whatever it costs, it's worth it. You don't want me catching you out of glamour again. Fuck you now! See? This is what I told you about, Sheriff. You're just gonna stand there, do something, Big B, before he completely tears up the place! So, what am I walking into exactly? A woodsman's on another bender. He's been going on like that for hours. Turn this place to dust if you let him. He's in a fucking rage. Oh! This is the last straw, Big B. He has to go. So what set him off? Who knows why it was this time. Man's got a hair trigger. I avoid him as much as possible. When did he start drinking? Not sure he ever stopped. Fuck you! I didn't know anyone else was up there. Furry prick gob shite. Tell me how to spend my money. Dad, the lights are shaking again. What did I say? You want a big bad wolf to take you away? No. Then get the fuck back inside! You're gonna know who I fucking am, you hear me? Hey, look at me! This is your job, okay? You're drunk! Let go! Take a look! Take a good look! God damn you! No way! Whoa, 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 no, hey, no. hey! You've got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid <laughs> I'll fucking kill you! 
All right, everyone. <laughs> what are you gonna fucking do, huh? Get the fuck out of the way before you get the axe again. Woody, I'm gonna break your fucking face. Is that a fact? Yeah, that's a fact. You got a shit fucking memory, Wolf. That's not how it went last time. This isn't last time. You gotta calm down. Had enough? Please make this a fucking challenge. You should probably get out of here. Look, I'm not leaving until I get what's mine. You're not getting shit, bitch. I'll fucking put you on the ground. Do you hear me? Say that word one more time. What? Bitch? What did I say? You fucking... Oh, fucking shit. You bug my jaw, you bastard! And still you talk. Fuck you. Shit. What the hell is going on? What happened? A little misunderstanding that turned into a real shit show. Don't worry, you saw the best bits. There's more where that came from, girly. Knock it off! Look, this is just the start of a shitty night for me. I just need the money he owes me, then I can go. What are you doing here? These lips are sealed. Why was he hitting you? Maybe you should ask him that. I will, but I asked you first. He asked me if I recognized him, knew who he was. I said I didn't. He started beating on me. Then you showed up, started beating on him. That about cover it, hon? I'm the woodsman, you whore. I saved Little Red Riding Hood from this monster. I cut this fucker open and filled his belly full of <laughs> stones and threw him in the fucking river. That's who the fuck I am, you stupid bitch! Hey, what did I say? I said be nice, or you wait outside. <laughs>
My car. Yeah. <clears throat> Give me a second. Oh, no, by all means. Take your time. Uh, sorry about the car. We ended up going out the window. Couldn't be avoided. I can't be mad at you. I called you, and you come to help. I can't be mad. But even when you help, things end up more fucked than they started. Well, at least you're not fucking dead. Thanks. Don't mention it. I'm just getting what he owes me. You all right back there? I mean, your eyes and the teeth? You're not really supposed to do that, are you? Not if I can avoid it. Great. The guy's got an axe in his brain. He's not feeling that. It's more from me. He'll be free. I'll kill you, you fucking bitch. Let me help you. <laughs> I'm having a bad day. That makes two of us. I guess it's a good thing fables are hard to kill. Suppose it is. Thanks. Who do you work for, really? These lips are sealed. Sorry. Hey! You like my ribbon? Beautiful. Thank you. I feel like we've met before. We probably have. We all sort of knew each other at one point or another. But things change, I guess. I guess. Stop. We don't have to make any more of a thing out of it than it already is. Are you sure? Uh, he's had enough. For tonight, at least. Wouldn't be surprised if he has an axe to grind, though. That wasn't intentional. Sorry. was the owed you? A hundred. I'm guessing it'd be bad for you to show up empty-handed. 
I'll be fine. I really wish I could help. It's okay. I'll be fine. You've done enough, really. You got me out of a bad situation back there. Thanks. I'm still gonna need a statement. I have to go drop off what I have. Meet me back at my office, then. It's a little late for an office visit, Sheriff. I'll swing by your apartment. How do you know where I... You live in the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Everyone knows that. Good to know. You should get cleaned up. You look like shit. And I don't use that term lightly. Some of these look pretty bad. I clean up okay. I'll believe it when I see it. Hey. I need to tell you something. What is it? You're not as bad as everyone says you are. I'll see you around, Wolf. No walking on the grass. No White's orders. I'll be sure to send her an apology. Beauty? Hello, Big B. I wasn't expecting anyone. I know this looks a little odd, but there's an explanation, I swear. So, where are you off to? Well, I went for a walk. I don't see what's wrong with that. Didn't say there was. It's not a big deal. Just, you know, out. For a walk. That's all. Damn it, I'm late. Please, Big B. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. He worries too much as it is, and... It would just make my life a lot easier. 
Sure. You promise? I promise. Thank you, Bigby. I'll explain it all to you later. I will, but I have to go. Thank you for trusting me. Really, I... I appreciate it, Bigby. since I got any mail. Seventh day in a row. Damn thing fell off again. How much longer is this gonna go on? Bigby, hey, wait up. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? Nope, haven't seen her. Oh, okay. Sorry to bother you. Damn it, something's going on. Hey, 
Colin, get up. Oh, hey, Big B. I'm in your chair, huh? I've only got the one. So, yeah. Got a smoke? Thanks. A couple thousand more of these will be even on that house you owe me. This has got to stop. You can't keep sneaking off the farm like this. The fresh air and sunshine pitch they sell you on is bullshit. I didn't escape out of the homelands to end up in some prison, okay? Don't send me back there, Bigby. You don't know what it's like, okay? You haven't been there. Calm down. I'm not sending you back. That for me? Nope. The house didn't blow itself down, Bigby. That's all I'm saying. Do with that what you will. Now, I'm not saying it's reason enough for me to have definitely been offered a drink, but, uh... It would have helped ease some of the pain you once caused me, yes. It also would have shown everyone how different you are now. Nice. I take it all back. This is why everyone hates you. So, everyone hates me. Nah, I'm just giving you shit. I'm doing my best here. Clearly that is not true, what with the selfishness with the bourbon. But, uh, no. Um, hate's the wrong word. They fear you more than anything. You ate a lot of people back in your day. I thought we were all supposed to have a fresh start here. I can't change the past. Well, you can't change people's memories either. Look, I'm not saying it's fair, but it's real. People are scared of you. I mean, look at your hands. Who'd you get in a fight with? A fable, right? I'm sure you're not going around punching Mondays. I was doing my job, believe it or not. Your job is to beat the shit out of fables? Sometimes I take them to the farm. Fuck you. You think my job is easy? You try keeping a bunch of fables from killing each other. How do you think this all works? I don't know. How? By being big and being bad. By being big and being bad. Don't say that shit in front of people. It's embarrassing. That's the attitude that gets you in trouble. I'm sure you were shitty to everyone you came across tonight. Mm, not everyone. Name one. Toad. Mr. Toad? Okay. How are his kids doing? He was yelling at him. Eh, sounds about right. Life is easier with friends, Bigby. And we live a long fucking time. I know you like this whole lone wolf thing you got going for yourself. But I've seen the way you look at Snow, okay? You're not fooling me. Will you shut up? Well, maybe if my throat wasn't so parched, I wouldn't have to keep talking. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Just give sense. me a drink, please. Colin, enough already. I haven't slept in two days. I went out a second story window, and I want to get in two seconds of shut-eye before I... Look. If I give you this, will you let me sleep? Yeah, yeah, all right. Probably. Thanks, Big B.
Big B! Snow? Come with me. Snow. Snow! What? Sorry, I'm... What is it? What happened? I just can't get into it this second. We need to hurry to... Hi. Hello. Good morning. Or evening. <laughs> yeah. These walls are paper thin. We need to be careful. We'll talk outside. This girl is... she's not a Mundy, right? Who was she? I thought I knew everyone in Fabletown. She looks familiar. A working girl? A working girl? I don't... I mean, I'm a working, a working, a working, a working, a working... He attacked her, I stepped in, and he threatened to kill us both. No, you don't think he... I don't think anything yet. Just give me a second. It's just... terrible. So, tell me what happened. Every detail. I wish there was more to tell. I left the office, walked past the security desk. Luckily, he was asleep. Grimble. Yeah. Then I opened the door and I found her. Like this. I came to get you right away. And that's all? That's it. Sorry. Big P, did one of us do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. Have a look around. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here. What is... Recognize it. Neither do I. She was placed here with some care. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed for us to find. What kind of monster would do this? Strange cut. What did this to her? What could do something like that? Either something very sharp, or something with magic attached to it. Ugh, I'm... 
I'm sorry. This is just so surreal. <sighs> um, what... what do you want to do next? We still have some time. I should keep investigating the area. Okay, good idea. Blood. Drops of blood. I'd say it's been here an hour, maybe? Fabric. Looks like jeans. Doesn't tell me much. Just some loose trash. Blood. Still wet. Sharp enough. What are you doing? Better to be thorough. Sure, just... hurry up. We don't have much time. We should... move her. Before anyone shows up. We'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Big P, do you have any idea what's going on? How did this happen? Why her? Someone brought her in from the outside. That makes sense. There's no signs of a struggle. But how do you know? I found blood on the fence, back there. Someone hopped over. Okay, good. That's solid. So, someone from the outside. Well, at least they didn't come from inside the woodlands. I'm gonna have to tell Crane about this. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. And he's going to find out anyway, so we may as well get out in front of it. We should wait until we have more to tell him. Right now, all we know is a girl is dead. Telling Crane doesn't change that, and I've got all the motivation I need to find out who did this. That sounds... reasonable, but... I don't know. I'll think about it. I just don't want him interfering. Crane's not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office. Are you blind? Why, you don't see there's a line? I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. I work here. And what great work you do, sheriff. Hmm. That didn't feel very genuine. Fucker. Because you are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow! The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep! The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria! Do you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow! You asked me a question! Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow! I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. This is a disaster! It isn't anyone's fault. Instead of trying to assign blame, maybe we should figure out how to catch the fucker who did this. Oh, 
Is that how you see things? Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fable Town. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. Tell me you've been doing something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. Any shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. Yeah. Her pimp. Her... was she a... Yeah. She was worried about a money situation. Well, this is just wonderful. Not only is a fable killed, but it was a fable hooker to boot. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow! Yes? Sir? Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Don't bother. Forget it! Can't do anything right. Do your job, Sheriff. Or we'll find someone who can. You know what? Stop. We'll get on it right away, sir. You would have just pissed him off more. All right. Well, that could have gone better. Well, I guess I should have listened to you and waited. Wasn't gonna say I told you so. You don't have to say it. It would have been better to have more to offer. Get our ducks in a row. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking and... Never mind. Smoke away. Who gets a massage this early? Crane. It doesn't really matter the time of day. A mere scent of stress and he's out the door. Is... is he gone? Yes, thankfully. Buffkin! Hello, Miss Snow. Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. How are you today, Mr. Bigby? Fine, Buffkin. Thanks for asking. Buffkin, get the books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. Mm, not sure that was any more specific. Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. He knows the ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information on her here. Somewhere. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buffkin finds them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. I really have to get this appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. Hello, Vivian? Hi. Worth a try. Yes, that's right. Mm-hmm. No, we got your invoice. Strength. I guess it comes in all forms. Yes, I mean, I question it only due to the amount. It seemed a bit... excessive. Well, that's not what I have here. I... Damn. Just what the fuck is this supposed to mean? I'll be sure to let him know. Yes. Hey, Magic Mirror. I got a question. You know the rule. I don't have time for this shit. Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel. But have some respect for our history of rules. <sighs> mirror, mirror. Uh, if you're able, tell me all about this fable. See? Was that so hard? Yeah, I'm about two seconds away from kicking a hole in you. There's no need for that. Fine. 
Of which fable do you wish to know? Show me the woodsman. Where is he? What you see is complete. The woodsman stumbles down a street. No shit. Which street? I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. Show me Buffkin. Hey! Put down the bottle and get to work! Still looking! Nobody right now. Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else. Or someone new. Well, I'm sure we'll get it all cleared up. Okay. Thank you. You know what this means? Tarot is a backwards art. I wouldn't put too much stock in its wisdom, Bigby. Not when you've been so helpful. Prevision's muddy. I'm as clear as a window. Mirror, mirror, blah, blah, Abel, blah, blah, blah about this fable. Of which fable do you wish to know? Nobody right now. Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else. Or someone new. We'll start with these. Any information on fables in our community will be somewhere in these books. Beauty in happier days. And her man, Beast. Funny. Colin and his brothers. I've seen this before. This symbol on the man's clothes, it's the same as the rings. Could be her father, or husband. This has most of the emblems of the old days, and usually what family they come from. If it's in here, we'll have her name. Ah, oh, great. What? I can't read any of this shit. I can help. Yeah, thanks. We look out for each other. Don't overdo it. This is the one. Where is this symbol from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? Alairairo? I'll go look it up. Alairairo? That means every kind of fur in German. Donkey skin. Yes. What does it say? <sighs> donkey skin girl, also known as donkey skin, also known as <laughs> ass skin, <laughs> uh, prefers to go by the name Faith. Poetic? Buffkin, we don't need the commentary. The story of donkey skin. There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was... Oh, his daughter, Faith. She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily ever after. Should I... Mark it, Miss Snow? Yes. Please. And what's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. We got what we came for. 
Yeah. Her name's Faith. She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than Her name we... was Faith. Yeah. We should talk to the husband. You think he did it? No, I don't. But we need to let him know about his wife. Mirror, mirror, blah, blah, able, blah, blah, blah about this fable. Of which fable do you wish to know? Show me... show me faith. Through powerful magic her whereabouts concealed. Unfortunately for you, these lips are sealed. What? These lips are sealed. It's not my choice of phrasing, Bigby. It's simply the way this has to be. Show me Faith's father, the old king. Guess that crosses him off the suspect list. He's a prince, I think. Show me Prince Lawrence. What's he been doing? Where is this? Where's what? Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? If he's a prince, probably relocated in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. Red frames. Yep, that's the one. I can take us there. Nobody right now. Anything we can use? Yep, yeah, that'll have to do for now. Come on, we're going over there. Sorry, I have to get that. Hello, Woodland's business office. Yes, I... He is. Hold on. Bigby, it's for you. Bigby, it's me, Toad. You there? Sorry about the car. Yeah, 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 it's fine. Bigby, shit. Listen, right, there's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. Get over here, Bigby, before he... Oh, wait, hang on. Boy, shit. Hey! What was that about? Hard to say. Something going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's husband? I don't know, I couldn't really tell. But he could be in trouble. And we should go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad might have to wait. Whenever you're ready. Did Toad say who was there? Was it the woodsman? I don't know. It's possible. Whoever it was, it didn't seem like Toad was happy to see him. Well, maybe Prince Lawrence can wait. Yeah, he didn't see him. He could use some help, too. Well, where to first? Big B! Shit! Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? We need to tell him about his wife. He deserves to know. You're right. And Toad's a tough... Toad. He can probably handle himself for a few hours. We'll have to.
to stay here any longer than we have to, so let's just pick an approach and stick to it, okay? Just humor me. When the magic mirror showed me this apartment, I think I saw a knife inside, covered in what looked like blood. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. Well, like I said, let's not overcomplicate things. You can question him while I look around for it. Yeah, he objects. We are here on official Fable Town business, and we can be persuasive if necessary. Or you can. Lawrence, you in there? Hey. Hey. All right. We'll try this out. Guess we're out of options. Come on, help me up. figure out what the hell is going on here. Who would do this to them? I don't know, Snow. Is that the same knife you saw in the mirror? Yeah. I don't know why it's over here. I just don't understand. Why would someone want to kill him? What are they? Prescription sleeping pills. Dry. That left a mark. Ruined his shirt. When do you think that was taken? Before all this. you, and I cannot endure knowing that I have. This was for the best. I'll see you again. Love, your devoted Lawrence. I should know his face. There are so few of us. I should know his face.
Oh my god, Bigby, he's alive! What? What are you doing here? Let's get you back up. Oh. What are you doing here? What's going on? We found you here, in your chair with what we thought was a fatal injury. We should call Swinehart, have him take a look at you. Wait a second on that snow. You know who I am? Yes. Good. I have a few questions. Why? What? What's this about? We found your note. I made a decision for us. It felt like the only way out, so... I shot myself in the heart. I uh, thought I'd be dead by now. It hurts like fucking hell. Your heart's actually a little more to the center. Probably hit a lung. Great. Uh, at least that's how I think it happened. Things are a little fuzzy. Thought it was a bad dream. Why did you do it, Lawrence? I did it because I was ashamed. I, I couldn't live with myself, knowing I had done that to her. I did what I could to keep her away, but she still worries about me. She comes by, makes sure I'm okay. I'm a fucking burden. I'm useless. I don't want her to have to worry about me anymore. She's better off without me. Without me being here to drag her down. She deserves that. She's been through a lot. I just wish I could have done better by her. She's always been there for me. Go away. I'm sorry to inform you that your wife has been killed. No. No. No, no, no. I knew this would happen. I'm sorry. I am. But I'm gonna need you to help me find whoever did this. So you need to try and remember anything that could possibly help us. Fuck, Georgie! Lawrence. Are you? Are you expecting anyone? I'll see who it is. No, wait. We need to know why whoever's out there is breaking in. I need your help. What do I do? Just play dead. What? Trust me. You can't move in your condition anyway, so just stay still. The second we figure out what they're here for, Bigby will arrest them. Think about your wife. Stay here! No! Stop! Leave me alone!
We're on the same side here. You... son of a bitch. Make me run after you. Why <coughs> did you run? <coughs> what? Why did you run? Fuck, man. Because you chased after me. The fuck was I supposed to do? You're looking for the woodsman, right? My employer is looking to ask him a few questions, too. Who are you, exactly? I'm D, and I'm a private investigator. There's a business card in my shirt pocket. You can see for yourself. This is for a sandwich shop. Really? Huh. Must have run out. Who hired you? I can't tell you that. It's confidential. Sorry. Sure you understand. Nope. Can't say that I do. Come on. You're coming with me. This could have been easy. Ah, oh, don't worry. It still is. Come on. Dumb. Dumb? Yeah, it is. Look, it'd be much easier for you no, to... No, I'm D. He's dumb. He almost looked peaceful. Yep. Except you're lying in a dirty alley. Yep. With an open wound on the back of your head. Yep. <sighs> what happened? Well, the one guy hit you, then the other one started kicking you. Explains the ribs. Then they jumped into a car and drove off. Come on, get up. We should check in on Toad, see if there's anything there that can get us back on the trail. And we ended up going out the window, and I landed on Toad's car. You guys made a real mess. Yeah. Looks worse in the day. I don't think anybody's here. We came all this way for nothing. <laughs> all right, son. All right, he's gone. He's left. It's over now. Is that his son? Toads, I think. Be nice in there, okay? Hey, Toad, you in there? <laughs> Big B and Miss White. Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. Sorry, Big V. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought it was someone else in Woody's place. There wasn't, though. Uh, not when I checked. Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. So, you know, false alarm. Sorry for dragging Miss White into this, but thanks for coming. Much appreciated. We heard someone crying. Oh, the boy stubbed his toe on the bed frame is all. It stinks, you know, but it's nothing to kick up a fuss about. A little tub swim, he'll be right as rain, I'm sure. Is your son in there? Oh, he's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than Walker, just like his dad. Wanna... So, I guess you'll be taking off now. No need to hang around here anymore. I mean, I'm sorry you came all the way here for nothing. This is for your own safety, Toad. You called us, remember? Yeah, yeah, I know, and I appreciate it, mate, but... It's fine. Relax. We'll be out of here in a minute. I just want to check things out first. All right, all right. I just don't want to waste your time, is all. 
Uh, have a seat. Have a cup of tea. Whatever you like. TJ? Are you alright? There you are. I don't mean to intrude, but Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection, and I was wondering if you could, perhaps, let me see it? It has a weevil. Cool. Just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah, sure thing. How'd this happen? Fucking hell. Damn thing must have fell off the table. Uh-huh. The lamp just fell off the table. All the boy was faffing about, playing salts and saltfish. Who knows with the lad? Move something? What do you mean? There's a clean space in the dust over here. Oh, maybe one of Junior's toys or something? I mean, who knows? If you're gonna say something, out with it! That broken lamp used to be here, right? Just tell me what happened. Nothing happened, mate. Nothing! And why did the lamp have to be there, of all the blooming pointless inquiries? It's my own place. Don't you think I'll know what happens in it? Because it wasn't on that table, Toad. There isn't any room in the electric outlets. Huh? What are you- It was plugged in over here, and now it's there. I, I did some refiguring. Who fucking cares? And not plug it in? Come on, Toad. I just hadn't gotten around to it yet. You see how many damn plugs there are? Do a better job dusting, or no? So what happened? What happened? There's fresh blood on the tip. I could smell it from the door. Oh, I was I was poking the coals and it slipped a bit. Sliced up in my foot like a seashell. But like a shit ugly thing. Sounds painful. Oi! Don't you go maverening now. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Perks of being a fable, I suppose. <laughs> and a frog. I've really been meaning to clean the place. There's more blood over here. Oh? Really? Yeah, still fresh. Well, like I told you, I cut me hand. Ran around like a tit trying to pick out a wrap. Must have got some on the furnishments. Okay, Sheriff. Now what? Wait, you cut your hand? You told me before that you cut your foot. Yeah, no, I, I did cut my hand. I cut my hand first, and that made me drop the damn thing on my foot. <laughs> a ruinous flip of events, really. Oh my god, will you not make a big faff out of this? There's nothing to solve here, Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that happened. Why don't you believe me? I mean, things happen, you know. I think maybe you're hiding something. Hiding something? Maybe. But, uh, to tell you the truth, I don't know yet. But I know you're lying about something. But I'm not- and You're just gonna make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up the act. I'm not bullshitting you. Honest. We'll see. What is it now? If it's blood, you know what happened, no. I- There's marks here on the window sill. And what's that about? No real reason. 
just last night when I'd come out, I was in a, a downright dizzy, mate, as you would be. <laughs> and I plum forgot the keys to this place. And I had to climb in through the bloody window. Really? Scared Junior off to death. Lock's busted. Eh? The lock. It looks like somebody kicked in the door. Oh, for Christ's sake, the fucking lock's been busted for weeks, mate. Right, it's just like everything else in this bloody building. Hmm. Why'd you climb in through the window, then? Huh? Why'd you climb in through the window? You said it yourself. The lock's been rotten for weeks. You wouldn't have needed a key to get in. Fucking hell. Just what are you on about, mate? After the state I was in, I didn't have me head, that's all it was. I forgot the fucking handle was fucking busted. And I'll tell you what else. It's embarrassing you bringing all this shit up, all right? So quit it with a third degree and all that. Bigby, come on. I'm begging for mercy over here, old boy. I was looking forward to a nice afternoon. Just me and me son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this... They're sniffing around at me private belongings. I'm sorry I called, really I am. But will you please, please just bugger off? Not yet. Not yet? You say to my face that you think I'm hiding something from you. Well, you've had to go out of the room for a fair bit of time now. Nothing's here. So when? When are you gonna leave? I mean, I feel like I'm on trial here. When? When you start telling me the truth, Toad. But I've told you the truth, mate. Jesus Christ, what more do you want? Toad, these stories have made no sense. You didn't cut yourself on the poker. You didn't forget your keys. You didn't bump the lamp off the table. You want to tell me what's going on? She doesn't think much of me. I don't think. Oh, I wouldn't necessarily say that. Progress? Mr. Toad, you're bleeding. Take off the hat. <sighs> it was that butcher, a, a tweedle, dame or you got to strip them down to their johnnies before you can tell which is which. They come bulging in, screaming about something the woodsman had. Or thought he had, I don't know. He tore up the place, beat me up when I said I didn't have it. And if you had come in when I asked you to, maybe he wouldn't have had the nerve to strong arm me boy. He hurt Toad Jr. How awful. What the hell does he care? It's always the same with you, isn't it, Big B? If I'm in trouble, need help, if I call about something, you always take a live long day to get here. What if he done something worse, eh? I'm tired of feeling trivial, mate. A lot of us are. We're sorry, TJ. Really. We were lucky it didn't go any further. You know where the Tweedle went? He mentioned something about Prince Lawrence's. I don't know if he'd already been there, was going there, but... He said something about it. I would have told you. I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I even tried to give the bows to the coat. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live here. Uh, sometimes? Borrows? I don't steal nothing. Turn around here would astonish you, mate. Well, merely repossess what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Fetch him the fur. Fine bit of dress it is. Now I wouldn't wear it outside. Wait. It's an envelope. Fucking hell, of course there is. 
for my luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to Prince Lawrence. What do you want to do with it? Doesn't seem right opening another man's mail. Let's try and give it to him. Okay. Well, it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? I'd see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. It was very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. Uh, see ya. And don't worry about what happened earlier. Just feel better, okay? And if you're looking for the woodsman, try down at the trip trap. Does it always go that smoothly? Not often. So, split a cab? Sure. I can only go to the trip trap for now anyway. Not because of what Toad said. Hopefully the woodsman's there. Or, I don't know. Someone who will know where to find him. It's my best lead. Our only lead, really. When you put it that way. Every time I think I'm getting a handle on what's going on, things just get more complicated. It feels like we're always a step behind. The Woodsman is the only lead we've got, and he was one of the last people to see Faith alive. Getting some answers out of him will start to clear things up. I hope you're right. Bigby, be honest with me. Who do you think did this? I know it's still early, but I just feel a step behind. Faith was in trouble, afraid of someone. I need to find out who might be whoever she was working for. There's still a lot of questions. We find the woodsman, figure out what he knows, and go from there. Makes sense. That's probably the best approach. You're doing I wish there was... really... Sorry. Go ahead. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, it's... It's nothing. I just... Seeing all this today... Her fables that are struggling worse than I'd imagined. We pay so much attention to the residents of the woodlands. You forget there's a whole community out there to serve. To have to turn to... Prostitution. I... I wish there was more we could do. This isn't how I thought it would be. But Crane runs things his own way. Then you should do something about it. You are in a position to make a difference. Obviously, you don't know what I do all day. Right now, I'm the gatekeeper, making sure none of these disenfranchised folks are, as he puts it, wasting his time. If you really want to help, you'll figure out a way. I don't know. It's just a broken system. The Fables who walk in through the back door like Bluebeard, we have all the time in the world for them. You try and come in through the front door, through the proper channels, asking for anything, needing help. Well, I turn you away.
Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. Maybe this isn't for me. I thought public service was pure. A way to help. You should stick it out. There are fables that would give up a lot to be in the position you're in, and I think it's easier to change something from the inside. You're telling me change comes from within? Uh, sure. Not the advice I imagined hearing from you. I'm full of surprises. Uh, maybe you should handle this one. Yeah, maybe I should. Bigby. I... Um, just be careful, please. What do you want, Sheriff? I was in the neighborhood. Thought I'd pop in and say hello. Well, fucking hello. Now you can get the fuck out of here. Look, I'm not even gonna ask where he is now, okay? I just wanna know the last time he was here. That's all. Who? I'm being nice. So try again. He hasn't been here for a few weeks. No, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, he hasn't been here in a while, if he's been here at all, which... I don't know. Does he tell you when to close, too? Nope. And he doesn't tell me when to tell you to fuck off. Whose is that? Someone who left. Why didn't you dump it? If you want a cleaner place, feel free to get the fuck out of here. I'm sensing a very hostile tone from you. Don't deny it. I'm good at picking up on this stuff. You got any change for this thing? Nope. A lot of stools in this place. If I sit over there, I'm gonna have to yell to talk to you. And I don't like raising my voice. Unless I really have to. You gonna order something? Or are you just here to bother my customers? You know what I mean. 
Give me a Midas gold. You want a lime? No. Well, I don't got any anyway. <laughs> think that's funny? Yep. Think it's fucking hilarious. It was all right. This is fun. This back and forth. We should really do it more often. But, uh, I'm starting to lose my patience. You're out of paper towels and the... <laughs> Saved your beer for you. Holly wanted to clear it, but uh, I said no. He'll be back. Now, here you are. You and me been going at it for hundreds of years. I'm through fighting. Not sure I believe you. Here, Muck. I decided to switch seats. Last fellow put his hand on me, ended up with an axe in his head. Last fella I put my hand on, ended up in the ground. It's okay, Gren. It's funny. Just a minute ago, no one seemed to know who you were. Yeah, well, everyone knows you. The big bad wolf. <laughs> no, I'm the bad guy and you're a sheriff. What kind of fucking world is that, huh? Not exactly comfortable with it either, but... Hey, you play the hand you're dealt. Well, some folks are forced to play with shit. That's a lovely image. Guess you want to know about the girl. Amongst other things, sure. I'd walked past her place for weeks. She didn't look like it. She had money. I was sure of it. And she wouldn't put up any kind of fight. <laughs> I was gonna rob her. And the night I finally get up the nerve to do it, there you are, fucking things up for me. You were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. I wasn't there to save her. So, you were planning on robbing her? Yeah, her and her grandma. Grandma? Wait, what are you talking about? Red Riding Hood, her grandmother. I was there to rob them. But when I showed up, you were already there, lying in the bed. I only saved her because I thought she might give me a reward. She didn't give me shit. Except a bunch of people thinking I'm something I ain't. I played along as long as I could. Only thing I managed to get from it was a free drink every now and again. <laughs> Not a good that did. I already know this story, Woody. You should. You were there. I'm not talking about Red Riding Hood. I'm here about Faith. She was murdered. What? Faith? Who's that? The girl you were beaten on this morning. No, no. No, no, no. I, I was here. I swear. It doesn't look good when a girl you were just smacking around shows up dead hours later. She's dead? Bigby, listen, I, I'm a piece of shit, okay? I know that. I hit that girl. I did. I, I shouldn't have, but I didn't kill her. You believe me, right? They're gonna string me up, Bigby. Like you said, it looks fucking bad. It looks really bad, but I didn't do it. He was here. That's the fucking truth, Sheriff. 
You see? Bigby, please. Y you can't. They'll throw me down the witching well, that's what they'll do. And I didn't do it. You know that. Hey, stop! This isn't what I want! Oh, shut the fuck up, Woody! Shit ain't just about you. It's about this fucking lap dog. Only comes sniffing around this part of town when the rich fucks in the woodlands need a shakedown. Ain't that right, Bigby? Lapdog? Really? Holly's sister goes missing. No one gives two shits about her. Paperwork, waiting rooms, and that bitch Snow White looking right past me, then ushering me out the fucking door. I wouldn't call her that. It's happened before, and it doesn't end well. I didn't realize you were the bitch of the bitch. <laughs> that all you got? Seem to be enough. Don't be so sure. Oh, good. Should have walked out of here when you had the chance. Come on, you're scaring the lady. Don't worry about me. Had enough. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> 
don't even think about it. Is this the type of treatment I can expect if I let you take me in? If you run, it'll be worse. Trust me. Alright, I got a hundred bucks for the first bloke that can tell me something about a girl name. That's not necessary! Shit. He's the one you want, not me! Your brother won't be saving you this time. Come on. You're under arrest. I told you I didn't do it! And you got nothing to worry about. Anything stupid, and I'll throw you down the witching well myself. We had something very special. Where's your brother? Fuck you! Give me one good reason I should tell you anything. Where's the rest of her? Serial killer. Oh. Oh my. A serial killer? Wait, the woodsman's still walking the streets. We've got to put a lid on this. If we can't manage it, I'll find someone who can. I found out where she's been staying. I know she's here. You must have seen her. What are the two of you hiding? Thanks for not saying anything. Doesn't matter. Maybe you just want to plunge someone. We can arrange that. What did you do? Friend on friend. At the end of the end. Jesus Christ, baby. Is that you? 